welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you this wedding guest makeup look right here since it's a wedding season I thought what could be better than just to create a wedding guest look because I'm sure whenever we think that we have to go to someone's wedding the first thing we think is oh my god what do I wear and the next thing that comes with it at least me who loves makeup I love to think oh my god what makeup look can I do with it and usually I always end up with the gold smoky eye like the basic kind of smoky eye so yeah this time I thought you know what let's try to create a different type of look that I can wear and this is one of my favorite Indian outfits that I love to wear for weddings and I thought instead of pairing it up with just gold smoky eyes I would create something different so this is what I came up with and I'm pretty sure the next time I wear this, this is the look that I'll do. So if you want to know how I achieved this, then please keep on watching. Also subscribe to my channel if you like this video and do give this video a big thumbs up. And yeah, now let's move on. We are starting off with brows. So first I'm brushing them and then I'm going to be using this Innisfree Auto Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Espresso Brown. It does come with a spoolie on the other side which is really helpful to just brush your brows out. So first I'm just outlining my brows where I want them to be and then I'm going to outline the upper side of my brows as well. I'm defining the arch as well as the tail of the brows and then with short hair like strokes I'm going to do the front of my brows with really light pressure and then just brush it through. Then I'm just cleaning up the brows with some concealer and a flat brush so that everything looks way way neater. This is an essential step if you want your brows to look very very crisp and clean. Next I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild concealer as my eyelid primer. So I'm putting two dots over my eyelids and then using that same flat brush I'm going to just place it all over my lids before I move on to eyeshadow for which I'm using this Wet n Wild palette and taking this red shade from the palette I'm just gonna concentrate it on my crease first with this tapered blending brush by ProArt and I'm slowly building the color up as you can see you need your concealer to be tacky so that the color sets in beautifully and it looks more pigmented I'm also blending it out then using the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette, I'm taking these two peachy orange shades and taking the mixture of both, I'm going to take it on a fluffy brush and then blend my crease out. I'm taking these all over the red shade that we applied and then using that same fluffy blending brush, I'm going to blend everything out. Then taking those same colors again on a fluffy but flat brush, I'm going to place it again just above the other colors and then the same drill where we just take the blending brush and blend it out. Next I'm going to just cut my crease for which I'm using the pack concealer and take your time with this step but you don't want to drag the crease out because we still want the smokiness to be there. Next from the Makeup Revolution Fortune Favors the Brave palette I'm going to take these two pink glittery shades and then I'm going to spray them with some setting spray so that it looks more pigmented and it becomes wet. This will give a foiled look to the eyeshadow which gives it a beautiful beautiful look. So I'm placing it all over my lids but only on the inner one third and then using the second deep pink shade I'm going to put that on the rest of the crease. I'm sorry the rest of the lid and just blend everything out. This just gives such a pretty look to the eyes. Next, taking the same red sheet from the Wet n Wild palette and the same Pro Arte brush, I'm going to deepen up the crease and the outer corners as well. Taking a wet wipe, I'm going to clean up all the fallout and sharpen up the eye look. This is probably my favorite part of any eye look. And this is why I prefer to do eyes first. Now taking some hairspray, this is by Schwarzkopf. I don't know how to pronounce it. Please don't judge me. I'm going to take it on a spoolie, which is actually a mascara brush, but anyway. And then I'm just going to brush my brows with it. This just helps the brows to stay in place all day. Now taking the Lakme Absolute Shine Line Eyeliner, I'm going to create a wing liner with it. So I'm starting off at the outer edge with a very very thin line and then I'm just joining it to the inner corners. After that I'm just going to thicken the outer and inner edges to make the wing a little bit thicker because we are going to be going in with falsies and I want the look to show. 
That's why we're going in with a thicker wing liner. Now I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Superstar Mascara and I'm going to be coating and prepping my lashes for the falsies. You can stop at this and you don't really need to add falsies but I'm just going to do it for a dramatic effect. Using this L'Oreal Kajal, I'm going to just tight line my eyes so that there are no gaps between the lashes and no skin is showing through. Using the pack 63 lashes, I'm going to put them on my eyes for a dramatic appeal with primer first for which I'm using the Maybelline Master Prime Blurring Primer. I'm just gonna take a dollop of it and put it all over the centers of my face because that is the area where I have most of my pro pores and I'm going to just pat it in and swipe it as well just to make sure that it's absorbed into my skin. Then for foundation I'm using the Bobbi Brown foundation. This is in the shade Honey which is honestly a little bit darker for me but right now I'm just so tanned that it does fit to me if I use concealer. You can see that it's exactly my skin tone right now but it will oxidize so that's why I need concealer and you will see me going in with lighter concealers in the next step. I'm also using a buffing brush to just blend everything out. I got these from Romway. They're not the best quality but they do work and they have kind of served me for three years now so I can't really complain. I'm going with the pack Spotlight Concealer in the shade Nutcracker and I'm just going to put it under my eyes as well as my mouth area. This is going to neutralize any discoloration there so I'm using this one as it is very very full coverage and I'm also using the Rumer Cosmetics Beauty Sponge to just blend everything out because it does help in breaking down really full coverage products and blending them out seamlessly. Next I'm gonna go in with another concealer. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in light medium beige. This is a highlighting concealer so it is one or two shades darker than my skin tone and I'm gonna place it on the centers of my face after which I will be blending it out using the Rumer Cosmetics sponge once again. This just provides the balance to the foundation by lightening up the centers of the face. Now for powder, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 15 Light and I'm just going to take it on the cap and use the sponge once again to just set my under eyes to prevent them from creasing. I'm not baking or anything, just making sure that the powder gets absorbed into my skin very very quickly so that it does not budge throughout the day and I'm also going over my forehead as well as my mouth area. For bronzing my face, I will be using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics and on a large powder brush, I'm going to take it just to provide an overall bronze to the face. So I'm putting it under my cheekbones, my jawline as well as my forehead and I'm also going in a three motion. I will be going back to the eyes. To do my lower lash line, I'm going to be using that same red shade from the Wet n Wild palette and taking it on a pencil brush, I'm just gonna put it on the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take this peachy shade from the Huda Beauty palette on a small blending brush and I'm just gonna blend everything together. After that, I'm just gonna take this Kajal by L'Oreal Paris and I'm gonna tight line the, the waterline. Then I'm just going to blend everything out once again. For blush, I'm going in with the Fit Me Blush by Maybelline. And this is in the shade Rose, I think. All the products will be mentioned in the description box below along with the shades. So make sure to check that out if you need anything. For setting my face, I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray and I'm just going to take a quick little shower in it just to make my face a little bit wet and then I'm going to be using this NYX Born to Glow Highlighter in the shade Gold something. I don't really remember it but yeah, look at that glow. This is a new purchase so this is the first time that I tried out the product and I was so impressed by it oh my god and i love putting it on wet skin it just looks so much better on wet skin i'm also applying it to the inner corners as well as my nose i'm also going in under the brow bone 
and don't forget your collarbones either because you want them to shine along with your face for lipstick i'm going to be using this pack sweet sensation lip cream in the shade 15 old school this is a very very gorgeous shade especially for indian skin tones and the formula of this is very different from usual lip creams it's not like the nyx soft matte lip creams it's kind of a mixture between the lip creams and the nyx lip lingeries but i am kind of in love with the formula and the pigmentation as well so i'm just gonna be wearing some jewelry and then i'm gonna reveal the final look Is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did then don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also comment down below which looks you'd like to see next till then i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching bye bye